Good morning, guys. It is Monday morning. Thank you guys so much for joining me. Yesterday was amazing. I have so many churches online shutting down the internet, but there was a lot of gamers saying, what is this? It's the devil. No, it was the church. It was Jesus. Not saying that every gamer is all about the devil. Probably shouldn't have said that. Ignore that I said that. Thank you guys for joining me. If you haven't already found me on YouTube, be sure to do that. You can find me on Facebook and Instagram as well. This week's song is Here Again. Let's hop right to it. Today, we are focused, focused on verse one. I can't go back to the beginning. I can't control what tomorrow will bring. All I know is here in the middle. The place where you'd promise to be. I can't go back to the beginning. I can't control what tomorrow will bring. All I know is here in the middle is the place where you promised you would be. Lord, I know that this season of life we're walking in, we are in the middle of chaos. And the place where we probably don't want to be is right in the heart of it, but I don't even think we probably have reached it, which is where that fear sets in when we can't control what tomorrow is going to bring i think it heightens us and it makes us even more anxious um and everyone is different in their season of life but in this position we can't even really control what people are doing the place where we can find ourselves is panic fear anxiety that eventually begins to come tensions of frustration when people aren't doing certain things that have been asked to do the place where I want us today to just focus on is in the middle of where we are, where the Lord says he'll meet us, where this song says, uh, here in the middle was the place where you promised you would be. Whatever the middle of your season is, that is where I promise and know that the Lord will meet you. I encourage you guys to really allow yourself to spend the next few weeks, because who knows how this can be, to stay in the middle of this season but not because it's it's it may be going bad i know there's people losing jobs uh, the uncertainty of everything right now but stay in the middle of that place because that is where the lord meets us that is where we are i believe so many lives are being restored so many relationships are being rekindled i believe that so much hurt is being healed and in the end when all this passes, because this will pass when all this passes I know that God will be right, very high. I know that the power of the Lord and what he has done and the lives that uh, has come to him are those who have been able to say, I had nothing. I lost everything out of nowhere. But Jesus met me in the middle. There's a verse I want to share with you guys. Psalm 30, 23 verse 4 says this, even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. In this moment right now, fear is, is rising in so many ways and it's scary because you can't control what tomorrow looks like and you can't control what people do today or tomorrow who are affecting what tomorrow looks like. So what do we do? We let go and we let God do what he does. We find ourselves trusting and knowing that in the end, God's going to move. Because this is this is what it says, for you are with me. I will fear nothing, for you are with me. The Lord is with us every step of the way. And today, find yourself seeing where he's showing his face. I know for me, uh, I've shared this with you guys, and I'll be very transparent. All the shows that I had set up have been canceled. I'm an event producer. I do shows. That's what I do. Every show's been canceled, but Jesus has covered us. And all I can do is have the faith and trust to know that this too will pass. So what am I doing? I'm sitting in the middle of my season right now with my family, and I'm loving on my family. I'm enjoying where I am and what I'm walking through, and I'm trusting and knowing that Jesus is going to move. And I don't want to say the cliche is thing of someone else is having a harder time than me. That's not how Jesus thinks. It's important for us as humans to think that way. But that's not how the Lord thinks. Your season is just as important as your next door neighbor's season. So trust and know that the love that God has for you is greater. And you can't change what tomorrow is going to bring. You can't control what tomorrow is going to bring. But you can sit in the middle and know that is the place. That is the place where he's always promised to be in the beginning, here in the now, and then in the future when heaven meets earth.
God, I thank you so much for who you are. I thank you for your grace. I thank you for your promises that have never failed, God. I pray that we can see those as we go this week and as someone maybe find themselves just the fear of the unknown rising up. I pray that it subsides, God, and that you can step in and that they can find themselves meeting with you, gathering with you. I can't go back to the beginning. what tomorrow will bring. See, all I know is here in the middle is the place so much for joining me this morning. I look forward to gathering with you again here tomorrow morning. Be blessed. Have a blessed day. Meet the Lord right where he's wanting to meet you in the middle of this crazy time that we're living in. Have a blessed day, guys. See you in the morning.